traditional jigitofka, as it's called. It's also known as troop riding, jumping on and off the horse while they're riding. When a horse is standing around, he's exerting a force down on the ground. And the ground is exerting a force back up on the horse. But what about when a horse is running full gallop around a circus ring? When a horse is running in a circle, it's continuously accelerating, even though it may not seem like it. Even though the horse's speed is constant, it's accelerating because it's changing direction. It's the same as when you're running in a circle. When you run in a circle, you can feel your foot pushing on the ground. Your foot pushes in the opposite direction that you want to turn. That's because the ground will push back with a force in the direction you actually want to go. In the same way, the force of the ground pushes on the horse's hoof, angled in a certain direction, creating friction, and a normal force perpendicular to the hoof, which is what keeps the horse moving in a circle. Did you know that the diameter of a circus ring is 42 feet across, specifically to allow a horse to reach gallop speed? If the ring were any smaller, to stay in the ring, the horse would have to exert more force and more effort than it's capable of. If Alec the horse weighs 500 kilograms and his speed at full gallop is 35 miles an hour, we can figure out how many newtons of force he's exerting by putting these two together. Leaping up on a horse, it's about 60% using your legs. The faster the horse goes, the easier it is to jump.